On April 8, 2024, people in Mexico, the U.S., and Canada are expecting to witness a total solar eclipse. The areas that the eclipse is expected to pass over will turn the sky dark as if it suddenly became nighttime. Most people are excited to see the total solar eclipse as another one won't be coming for years. But as I mentioned in my last video about the solar eclipse, some people have been seeing this event as one of prophecies. This is because several strange coincidences are lining up with the April 8th total solar eclipse. These coincidences have left people asking a good question. What is going to happen on April 8th? Hey guys, I hope all is well. Welcome to The Truth Is where I drop new videos every other day exposing the truth. In today's episode, we will be talking about the April 8th solar eclipse as I have discovered some new information about April 8th. But before we begin, I just wanted to remind my patrons that I just dropped a new Patreon exclusive about Hollywood protecting monsters. Unfortunately, this one will not be going on YouTube due to what I get into. But if you're one of my Patreon members, make sure you go check it out after this one. Thank you all. Now let's get right into it. I want to start this video by saying I am not trying to frighten anyone with the information in this video or any of my videos. In my last solar eclipse video, I saw many people repeat the same two comments. One, that nothing was going to happen on April 8th and that I was just reaching and two, that I was fear mongering. Even though the first thing I stated in that video was that I didn't know if anything was going to happen on April 8th, but still, people acted as if I declared the 8th to be the apocalypse day. No man will know when the time is here, but one thing we can see is the signs. In my last video, I simply stated the facts that are being stated about what's expected to happen on April 8th. Nothing I stated was to frighten anyone. In fact, I'm here to do the opposite. Spread the truth and help the world realize what's really taking place. So if the truth frightens you, I do apologize, but even if you don't like the way it sounds, it still remains the truth. Now again, I want to make it very clear. I am not saying anything is going to happen on April 8th. These are all just simply things that I have noticed about April 8th. Coincidences, you can say. Now in my last video on the eclipse, I spoke about all the strange behavior coming from some of the city emergency officials that will have the total solar eclipse pass over their state. Some of the states that are expecting the solar eclipse to pass over them issue state of emergency alerts for April 8th. According to Fox News, Several states and some Texas counties that will be in the path of totality during the April 8th solar eclipse have issued warnings and state of emergencies ahead of the event. They are advising citizens in Texas, Oklahoma, Ohio, Indiana, and New York to either shelter in place during the eclipse or in some states to stock up on emergency supplies, food, and water. This was the first thing that I found was off about this entire situation, as I don't see why a state of emergency needs to be issued for a total solar eclipse. To me, and to many others on the internet, it simply just doesn't make any sense. In my last video, I also mentioned how the total solar eclipse is expected to pass over two U.S. states that are called Nineveh. Like I mentioned in my last video, Nineveh is a biblical city that God sent Jonah to to warn the people about their sins. God used Jonah to save the people of Nineveh by telling them to repent before he destroyed their great city, which they did. The fact that the eclipse is passing over these cities is seen as a sign by many people. Some people online are seeing it as a warning or a sign from God. Just how God told Jonah to warn the people of Nineveh to repent, people see this eclipse as a sign to the people to repent. What do you guys think though? Is it just a coincidence? Another coincidence is that the Israeli people are preparing to perform the red heifer sacrifice in April, the same month as the eclipse. The red heifer sacrifice is also seen as another biblical prophecy. The ritual is seen as a foreshadowing of the ultimate purification through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. It's connected to the rebuilding of the temple and the central role in the end times. I mentioned how the pagans used to also see the solar eclipse as a sign of the end times sent by the gods, while other ancient civilizations saw it as a symbol of rebirth. Either way, there is strong historical evidence that will suggest ancient civilizations felt there was a spiritual meaning to the eclipse. Now let me say this as a reminder, I do not think the world is going to end on April 8th. I'm not saying that we're in the end times at all either. Only God knows when that day is. We can only be prepared by paying attention to the signs. One thing I am saying is that there's way too many coincidences for this day. All of those states of emergency declarations and warnings seem to overhype this situation. The thing is, there's actually a reason those in power have hyped up this total solar eclipse. And I am going to tell you exactly why. 
April 8, 2024 is not only the day of the total solar eclipse, but it was the same day as the birth of Thelema, the religion created by the infamous occultist Aleister Crowley. Crowley wrote his book of the law and officially started Thelema back on April 8, 1904, exactly 120 years ago. Back in the year 1904, when Aleister Crowley was visiting Egypt with his new wife to enjoy their honeymoon, they set up a lodge and began to perform ancient Egyptian invoking rituals. One day while Crowley was performing these rituals, he claimed that his wife became possessed by one of these spirits he was trying to invoke. He claims that on March 18th she told him that she was possessed by they, who she explained were the god Horus, and on the 20th of March she told him that the equinox of the god has come. She then led Crowley to a museum to the steel mortuary known as the Steel of Anak, and this led Crowley to experience a supernatural experience on April 8th where he claimed that he was visited by a spirit called Awis, who was the messenger of Horus. Crowley claims that Awis told him he was chosen to be the prophet of Horus, and that he was to bring in the new Aeon called the Aeon of Horus. Over the course of three days, Awis then gave instructions to bring in this new world, and Crowley wrote it all down, telling Crowley that do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law, and the creo of the new age. Crowley later published what Awis told him, calling it the book of the law. He then used the teachings of the Book of the Law to create his own religion called Thelema. And in Thelema, still to this very day, April 8th is seen as a sacred day, as the birth of Thelema. Now, 120 years later, the same day that is celebrated by Thelemites as the birthday of Thelema, just so happens to fall on the same day the total solar eclipse is going to happen. This is one strange coincidence, but it explains why they made this eclipse seem so special. Remember how I explained some ancient pagan civilizations used to see the eclipse as a sign of the world going through a rebirth? Well, this is the exact same way occultists see the eclipse as, a symbol of rebirth. This is the reason they have hyped up this eclipse, they are using it to stamp the fulfillment of Crowley's Age of Horus prophecy. For example, if we look at David Bowie who was a follower of Crowley and actually wrote many songs dedicated to him, he spoke about this very day they were awaiting for on April 8th. This video is all about this very thing. In his music video Black Star which he starts with a total solar eclipse, we can see Bowie's body floating up to the total solar eclipse after the Scarlet Woman takes his teachings back to the new world which is represented by a skull. What's interesting about this scene is the fact that NASA announced a few days ago that they were launching three rockets at the solar eclipse on April 8th in an operation they called APEP. The operation is actually named after the god Apep, which just so happens to be the serpent deity from ancient Egyptian mythology, which is the nemesis of the sun deity Ra. NASA claims they are launching these rockets to investigate how that drop in sunlight and temperature affects Earth's upper atmosphere. While this is what they're claiming, I believe there's an occult purpose much more sinister than what they claim. This is all connected to this very scene, where they show Bowie's body floating to the solar eclipse. Bowie's body actually represents Crowley's body, as he is their demonic prophet and they're claiming his prophecy has been fulfilled. They are sending these rockets as a representation of Crowley. The reason they're sending exactly three rockets is to represent the birth of Thelema, as Crowley wrote the book of the law in three days, and in masonry, they believe in the three lesser and greater lights of masonry, which is all a mockery of God's holy trinity. This is all being done symbolically for the 120th birthday of Thelema. It is at all no coincidence that NASA is choosing April 8th to launch these rockets. They are all showing us exactly what's going on. They are celebrating the 120th year of Thelema. They perform a Gnostic Mass in this video as well, a ritual done in Crowley's religion of Thelema. This very scene shows us that they were alluding to this very day. In these last songs by Bowie, he was explaining how he was sad because he knew he wasn't going to be able to see the day come. The day that he was waiting for was this very day. This is what he is referring to because many occultists have been waiting for this day for decades. They have been showing us this through their symbolism. There's another song and music video that alludes to the April 8th solar eclipse called Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden which is about the total solar eclipse and the new world order. The song not only has a music video full of strange end times imagery but also lyrics that are talking about them waiting for this day to come. In the song's chorus, they repeat, Black hole sun, won't you come and wash away the rain? Black hole sun, won't you come, won't you come? Black hole sun, won't you come? A black hole sun is a solar eclipse as the sun turns black when the moon is in front of it, causing it to look like a black hole. This is exactly what they were talking about. They were talking about the day the total solar eclipse fell on Thelema's birthday. 
The video has even more imagery that proves they were talking about April 8th. The video starts by showing the band wearing a skull shirt while holding their guitars, while on the other side they show a group of religious people holding up signs declaring the end is near. This part of the video is supposed to represent the two sides of the spiritual battle. Those who are preaching Talima and Crowley's words that represents the devil's teachings, while the religious people represent those pushing the Bible, which are God's words. This also symbolizes when they expect this black hole sun, they're expecting the end. Not the end of the world, but the end of the old order of life, and the marking of the beginning of the age of Horus. The video then continues with the sinners sinning, as shown by the fish. The fish is seen as a Christian symbol that represents Jesus, the fisher of men. The woman with the knife who's seen about to kill the fish represents the death of the old religious ways, the death of the worship of Christianity. Right after this scene is shown, the total solar eclipse is seen, and everyone stops and stares at it in amazement. In another scene, they show the people's faces start turning demonic after the eclipse passes. As the video continues, things start getting more and more demonic, and we start to see souls being sucked up to the total solar eclipse, just like it was shown in the Black Star video. There's even a scene where they show a woman dressed in red with her reptile tongue representing the Scarlet Woman. As the video progresses, it becomes obvious what's happening in the video is the apocalypse, with all the people being sucked up into the black hole sun or the total solar eclipse. This is how the video ends. This video is representing the death and rebirth, the start of the new age of Horus. They showed us all of God's people disappear, while all of those who chose to worship themselves dealt with the wrath of God. Now, I'm not saying these occultists made this total solar eclipse or made it happen in any way. I'm saying that they waited for this day to happen to fulfill their prophecies and it came. These occultists don't know when the end will come, but they want to mark it symbolically using the total solar eclipse, the end of the old age of life and the start of the age of Horus. This is why they have been putting out all of this end time apocalypse imagery to mark this day. This is the day they're making the start of the age of Horus. Now, what all that means is a story for another video. Remember, I'm not saying anything is going to happen on April 8th, nor am I fear-mongering. I'm just pointing out the facts and all the coincidences that point to that day. Everything I said you can verify yourself. Crowley created the Lima on April 8th. The authorities did declare a state of emergency, and the total solar eclipse will pass by eight cities named Nineveh. Now, what all this tells me is that I don't know what is coming, but I know that praying to the Almighty God will keep me safe, and He would guide me in these times of uncertainty. Well, I'm gonna end it here, but before you guys go, I just wanted to ask you guys to please like, comment, and share this video so that it'll be recommended to others. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.